Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Lan Chao uh, from Google Kubernetes team. And today I'm going to talk about our work to integrate Canary with Kubernetes. We call this project CI Canary. And uh, on the left is me, it's Lan Chao. Uh, I'm a maintainer of Kubernetes, and I've been working on Kubernetes for two years. Uh, I'm also one of the authors of CRI, Canary Runtime Interface. And now, today I will firstly give a quick status update of CRI Canary. And then Abby is going to give a demo. That is Abby. He's from Docker, and he's also uh, a, maintain a maintainer of CRI Canary. Uh, I think you, I believe you have seen this picture for many times during DockerCon. And actually, there are, there are not, not only one new thing in this picture. Of course, the, uh, the first new thing that Docker is going to natively support Kubernetes, as shown in the picture. But actually, there is another exciting new thing. is that Kubernetes will be able to run on top of Canary D directly. Uh, as is known by all, previously, even today in Kubernetes up, up, upstream, Kubernetes is running on top of Docker engine. Uh, so in the future, there will be more options, for example, Canary D. And the agenda is pretty, pretty simple. We will firstly uh, quickly review container runtime interface. Uh, we call it CRI in Kubernetes. And then we will compare the, the scope of Canary with CRI's requirement uh, to see whether they match with each other. And actually, they match pretty well. And then it's CRI dash Container D is our project. Uh, after that, Abby will give the demo. So first part, Container Runtime Interface, CRI. Uh, what is Container Runtime Interface? Uh, it's a gRPC interface with a group of libraries. Uh, actually, it defines a group of, fun uh, of functions. In theory, any container runtime implement all the functions should, should be able to use by Kubernetes. Uh, and we introduced this interface in Kubernetes 1.5. And today, if you bring up a Kubernetes cluster, actually, it's talking with Docker through this interface by default. And it's the, a picture showing how the interface, uh, interface works. And there are several ongoing CRI runtimes work. Uh, the first one, of course, is what we are introducing today, CRI Canary. It's, a, it's an CRI implementation based on Canary. And then there's also Cryo. It's a CRI implementation based on Rancy. And then, of course, Docker is still up, upstream default today. And then Fracti is based on Hyper. It's a VM-based solution. And Rocket based on Rocket. Vertilate is another solution based on uh, another VM-based solution. And except for except for all those CRI runtimes, we we have another project called CRI Tools. Uh, it contains a series of tools to validate and uh, debug uh, uh, to help validate and debugging container runtime interface. Uh, for example, uh, we have the CRI validation test. It's the test suite validate whether a CRI container runtime meets all the requirements. Uh, so ideally, uh, if your CRI container runtime passed the, all the tests, it should be able to use by Kubernetes. And then uh, we also have a command line tool. It's called CRI Cuttle. It's a command line tool di directly talk with CRI to get debug information. It's mainly for troubleshooting in your Kubernetes cluster. Uh, and it's portable uh, across different CRI container runtime. And it is the, it's, it, uh, this is today's status of container runtime interface. And then let's go to the second part. So in short word, Canary's scope is just right for CRI, for Kubernetes. And you can check out the table. Uh, I will not uh, read all of them. But uh, let's give an example. For, for example, for the container logging, um, uh, for Kubernetes, Kubernetes manage the container log itself. Uh, CRI has very specific, uh, specific requirement on the log path and log format. Uh, previously, we were using Docker, but as is known, Docker uh, has its own way to manage container logs, which is not that compatible with CRI. But for Canary, it's uh, completely different. 
uh, Canary, uh, Canary will provide container output as faithfuls. And it's very easy to redirect the output to any file, log files and also decorate the log into the format you want. Uh, of course, uh, very easy to de decorate to CRI log format, uh, which is just what we want. And uh, another example is uh, container metrics. Uh, for CRI, uh, we want container runtime to provide the container metrics, including the memory usage, CPU usage, and also uh, the image file system metrics. Uh, previously, we got all those information from say, the weather, but we found that it's hard to su uh, support different container runtimes because different container run runtimes have different C group, uh, C group hierarchy, different disk layout. It's very hard to support them all. And for the VM-based container runtime and uh, in the future Windows container run runtime, it's, it will be even harder. So we decided to get, uh, let container runtime provide those information to us. and. Uh, as is expected, Canary D provide all the metrics required by CRI in uh, part of their API. So it's very easy to retrieve those information and convert to uh, the CRI format. And except for all, all those mentioned above, there are several other alignments with uh, Kubernetes long-term plan, for example, the decentralized container management, uh, decoupling image management and container management, and it support OCI, CNCF, all those things. So overall, technically, Canary is a, a very good alternative runtime for Kubernetes. So then the, 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 the last part uh, is our work, CR Canary. Uh, so what is CR Canary? It's a CRI-based implement, uh, it's a Canary-based imp implementation of CRI. Uh, the repo is there, CR Canary. And it uh, currently it's a Kubernetes incubator project. Uh, we started uh, in April this year. Uh, as shown in the graph, comparing with today's Docker integration, CI Canary uh, el eliminates one actual hop in the stack and uh, yeah. And this is the architecture. Uh, so we can give a brief Example, for example, now we want to create, uh, Kubernetes want to create a new pod. Kubelet will talk with CR Canary to say, please create a new pod sandbox and the new, uh, uh, for me and also the application containers inside. And then CR Canary will talk with Canary to create a, uh, create a sandbox container, which is a pod container we all know, and also the, uh, the application container and make sure they are in the correct namespace and C group. And then CR Canary will call CNI to config the pod C group correctly, and then after all those are done, we, we have a running pod. Uh, it's just a, a brief introduction, a lot of details uh, uh, are not mentioned here. So here is the current status of CR Canary. Well, we have the alpha released now, and it supports Kubernetes 1.7 and above, and it's using Canary 1.0 uh, beta. Uh, it is feature complete. It means that you can try any existing, uh, existing Kubernetes features on it, and if you find any problem, then it's not expected. Please file issue, uh, file issue to us. And we have passed all the CR validation tests I mentioned just now. Uh, the, the test suite to validate why the CR can runtime meets the requirement. And we also passed all the no regular no D three test. No D three test is the test suite we used in up, upstream to validate why, uh, all the node level functionalities. And we also provide the Ansible playbook to help you bring up a cluster using CR Canary as a Canary runtime, also and also the document to uh, to tell you how to customize your installation. And you can also check check out uh, check out Kelsey's. Kubernetes the hard way is also using CR Canary today. And we have contributors from Google, IBM, Docker, ZTE, and Georgia University. Thanks a lot for the contribution. Uh, and here's the, the roadmap for next quarter. Uh, we will mainly fo focus on testing and bug fix and also usability improvement. Uh, we will set up, set up all, uh, four set of integration tests uh, in the Kubernetes test inf infrastructure, uh, hopefully we, uh, it should be the same with what we are using for Docker today. And then uh, we will also integrate with uh, Kubernetes Cube app uh, and uh, po uh, possibly 
cops in the future, and so, so that in the future, uh, so that you should be able to bring up a production quality cluster using Kubeup uh, and using CR D as the kernel runtime. We also improved the cry cattle I mentioned above. It's the command line tool for troubleshooting CR kernel runtime. Uh, we will also improve the usability of cry cattle. And we plan to release 1.0 beta by the end of the, this year. Uh, it will be uh, production ready as long as Canary Day itself it is production ready. I, be, I, I, believe, I believe it will run. Yeah, so, uh, and then let's invite Abby to the stage for the demo. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey guys, I'm Abhi from Docker. I've been working with uh, Lantau Mike from IBM on this project. Uh, last uh, Mobi Summit in uh, LA, we uh, went, we did a simple demo where we brought up Kubernetes cluster with Containerd, CRI Containerd with uh, the Ansible and Kubadium tools, um, and then we did a simple demo on uh, using Lib Network CNI, do some networking stuff uh, with that. So for today, um, what we'll do is we'll, we, I always have a Kubernetes cluster with Containerd and CRI Containerd running. Uh, we'll deploy a sample microservices app, and then we'll also use serverless, because that seems to be the buzzword uh, in this conference as well. So um, let me just start off. Uh, I have two no I have two node clusters, um, and then I will go ahead and deploy the app first, and then we'll talk about the app itself. So it's creating all the services. Um, so let's go and look at what the app itself is. So uh, since the conference theme has been Mobi loves Kubernetes, um, so we thought we'll do a a concept around it. It's still a concept. Uh, and we kind of uh, did a microservices with uh, some of the nice tools in the that's being talk and spoken about in the Mobi Summit as well. Uh, so we'll use Linux Kit. We'll use OpenFast. Uh, thanks, Alex, for helping with the integration as well. And then we'll obviously be using Kubernetes, CRI, Containerd, and Containerd. Um, so what we'll have is we have about five services. Uh, so there's, as it explains, like we have a catalog which will have a catalog of containers. Uh, so for now, I have like a five container catalog that I've pre-created. Uh, then we have a MySQL databases uh, and uh, that's running as a service. And then we have a cart service which user can put uh, the container names into the cart. And then we have a Linux Kit builder service, which basically is running Mobi tool that will build a Linux Kit VM for us, uh, given, um, given the list of containers that we want to build it for. Um, so hopefully, next uh, demo will have an Alexa-like integration. So we say, Alexa, can you build a VM for us? Uh, but yeah, for now, we'll, we'll just use the OpenFast uh, to uh, demo. Um, so let's go back to. Is that enough for? Okay, so let's just make sure we have the pods running. So we have a bunch of pods running, which is basically all the services. And then I also have deployed the open fast uh, services. So like you can see, fast is gateway, and uh, we have some functions as well that we'll, we'll talk about. So let's also make sure we have the services running. And then um, also, most importantly, just make sure we're not running it on Docker. So we don't have any containers running on Docker. It's all running on Containerd. Um, so let's go to the open fast UI. So let's. So uh, I have three functions, as the name suggests, is a get catalog, add basket, and build VMs. These are all serverless functions that I deployed using open fast. Um, so let's use the get catalog, and then uh, the output will be in JSON. Let's just invoke it. So we have a list of containers. So uh, sorry if it's crude, but I just uh, did it quickly. So we have like four or five uh, container images uh, with descriptions and commands that you would run. We'll obviously enhance this to be uh, a little better for the next demo. Um, so let's just add one container to the basket. Um, so I have the, have the card, now the card contains Redis container. Uh, and I have only one user, which is myself. So it's, used, uh, it's put into, it's put in on my basket. Um, so let's just use the build VM. Um, 
build VM and it takes about 30 seconds. So what, what's happening in behind the scenes is, um, is when we invoke these functions, uh, it's calling the fast gateway, which internally calls the fast functions, uh, respective functions, and they are talking to the respective services. Like get catalog talks to the catalog service, uh, add basket talks to the cart service, and then um, build VM is talking to the Linux kit builder. Um, so they are internally doing all the, all the magic of uh, putting it in the database, retrieving from database, and things like that. So we should hopefully have uh, the build done. Like, it probably takes about 30 seconds, so uh, we should have it pretty soon. So what's happening here is basically it's, uh, it's using the, uh, the Linux Kit Builder is using the Mobi tool to build uh, a Linux Kit VM with all the images we gave. For now, I just gave the Redis. So uh, it's just building a Linux Kit VM with, with Redis. So what it'll return to us is it's going to be a Linux Kit file, and as well as the list of uh, image files that is created. Um, so yeah. So what, as you can see, we have the Linux Kit file created, and then we have the VM images that's created. So we can obviously do duplicate into the service and uh, start a Linux Kit VM. So yeah, that's pretty much what we had for uh, this demo. Yeah, thanks for the demo. And uh, let's do a quick recap. So there are three takeaways from this talk. The first one is that CRI container runtime interface is the standard way to integrate a container runtime with Kubernetes today including Docker, Containerd, and Cryo, uh, all the containers. And the second one is uh, Containerd, the, the, sc uh, the scope of the new Containerd matches CRI and Kubernetes requirement very well. Uh, uh, if you have time, you can check out the table later after, uh, after the talk. And the third one is that CRI Containerd is alpha now, and it will be beta by the end of the year. Please feel, free, feel free to try it out or contribute. If there's an issue, feel free to file the issue. We are acti actively working on that. And yeah, here are all the links, uh, the, the GitHub repo. And uh, you can also join the Kubernetes sync notes like uh, to talk with us. And we also have the mailing list. We, ha we have uh, several contributors and three maintainers. Uh, I'm the first one, Lan Chao, and my GitHub handler is random. Liu. It's a bit, different, uh, a bit different with my name. And then uh, Abi uh, and also Mac Brown. He's from IBM. He's not in DockerCon uh, today. It seems that he doesn't feel well. He's you or something. But yeah, thanks to him. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, so we will be around today. If you have any questions or any suggestions, anything you want to talk, just uh, come to us. Uh, you're very welcome. That's it. <laughs>